This is the bog standard Squire Affinity Series Stratocaster. Let's see how it sounds. G'day folks, this is Shane. This is the absolute cheapest Squire electric guitar that I could get my hands on in a lefty. This is the Affinity Series Strat. Let's check it out. Here's the guitar up close. Now, as you can see, it has the traditional two-tone sunburst look, which looks really, really cool. And the back of the guitar also looks pretty nice as well. As you can see, it says Squire by Fender under my fingerprints right there. And it has three conventional single coil pickups. Now the in-between positions, both these two and these two, are hum cancelling as well, so you do get that advantage right there. Five-way toggle switch as per normal. Now in terms of weight, this is actually extremely light. I was kind of shocked when I picked it up. I went, oh, this is like custom shop light. If you haven't actually picked up a custom shop guitar before, they're a whole lot lighter than your standard series guitars. They just are generally. So yeah, I was pretty surprised at the weight. Check out the back of this neck though. I think it looks really, really nice. No doubt about it. It's got the big headstock as well. Let's put this over here, there we go. And this is one of the, what I would call the gold series ones. Now I haven't actually seen a lefty with the black logo. This is pretty much the entry level in terms of being left-handed. So these are actually a pretty nice guitar. Huge thanks to Sky Music here in Melbourne for letting me borrow this. If you wanna find out more about them, all the links will be on screen and in the description below. Let's make some noise. All right, let's kick things off. Today we're gonna to start with some dirty tones and then also go over to some clean tones as well. Now, anytime I review an inexpensive guitar and I use the Kemper, a lot of people complain saying it's a pretty big mismatch. So today I'm using the GE200 pedal, which is an amp sim pedal from Moore, M-O-O-E-R, however you wanna pronounce that. Let's give this a shot. We're gonna start on the neck pickup. This is dirty tone first and then clean later. <laughs> Over to bridge. Feels so easy to play. And over to middle pickup. Let's give this a shot. All right, 
over to neck and middle, which is actually hum canceling. Ah, <laughs> I kind of love that. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> And over to bridge and middle, which is also hum cancelling. It's a really good sound for this sort of stuff. Over to some cleaner tones now, let's give this a shot, we're going to start on neck. Neck and middle. Over to middle. Over to middle and bridge. And over to bridge pickup. Sounds nice and steely. Let's go back to neck. And let's try some heavier tones now, just quickly on neck and bridge pickup. No whammy bar. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So what do I think of this particular guitar? For its price, it's fantastic. You would have no problems doing a gig with something like this or giving it to a beginner and sort of growing into their experience playing with a guitar. And that's one of those things, a good player can come back to a Squire like this and also use it as a guitar that they could potentially upgrade down the track by changing the pickups, maybe changing the selection switch. It's not too bad, it's a little stiff, but otherwise it's not so bad. The pots feel pretty good and the taper was okay as well. In terms of the fret job, the fret job actually feels pretty good. It's a little sharp along the bottom edge, but that's not surprising being that some of these lesser expensive guitars generally have less attention to detail as well. You kind of get what you pay for, but that's a really easy fix in terms of just sheer playability. It plays extremely well. I love the fact that it's light. I really like the look of this guitar as well, visually. I think it looks really, really cool. Something like this for a player like myself, or maybe for you, might be a good project guitar as well. I have a few pickups in my cupboard. I was thinking maybe just slamming them in here and seeing how we go. This isn't mine. This is on loan from Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia. So a huge thanks to them for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it. If you live in Australia, check them out. And also, I should also point out, we're also shooting some YouTube videos there as well, both Rick and I. So if you can click the cards, you'll find out more about that channel as well. Thanks again, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the tone in terms of, like I said, in terms of playability and what you get for your bang for buck. It's a pretty sweet deal. So yeah, cool guitar. Thanks again, guys. Catch you soon. See ya.